In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a count ifs statement as count ifs. Count ifs allows you to count um, on a number of different criteria. So you've already used the count if statement on the analysis sheet to count the number of um, people that wanted a maze game, for example. Count ifs would allow us to count on, a nu on numerous values. So what we're going to do on the uh, on our count ifs statement is to look for all of the um, the males that want to have the W A S and D control method, and all of the males that want to have the arrow keys as a control method, and then the same thing for the females, looking at the number of females that wanted the W A S D as a control method, and the um, arrow keys as a control method. So going back to my cleanse data. Okay, you can see that in my gender column, the, it's called gender because we've got a named range, and I've got M and F for my two different types of gender. Okay, in my uh, gameplay and movement column, I've got uh, my, my, my range is called movement, and I've got arrow keys and WAS and D. So those are the four different things I'm going to need to know. Firstly, the names of the ranges, and secondly, what values I'm going to be looking for. So let's make a start on this count ifs statement. So I'm going to go equals count ifs ifs. So it says it counts the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. So I'm going to open a bracket. It's asking me for my range of my first criteria. So my range for my first criteria is um, gender. And the first value that I want is male. Now, don't forget, I've used M for male. So it's a string, so I have to put in speech marks. So I'm going to put that. Okay, so that's the first part of my count if statement complete. I'm going to put a comma. And now it's asking me for the criteria range for my second criteria. So that's going to be movement, comma. And then my, my first set of movements is W, A, S, and D. Don't forget to string. So W, A, S, and D. And I'm going to close the speech marks and close the bracket. Okay, so you can see that there are 14 males that want W, A, S, and D as a control method. So let's do the same thing for arrow keys. Equals count ifs. Gonna open a bracket. We're going to go for gender again. Comma, open speech marks, M for male, close the speech marks, comma, movement, open the comma, open the speech marks, and this time we are going to use uh, arrow keys in speech marks because it's a string. Okay, so there's 36. There are 50 males and 50 females, so they should all add it to 50. Let's go for the female one now. So equals count ifs. Open a bracket. This time we're going to be looking for again gender, comma. We're going to be looking for F for female, comma, movement, comma, open speech marks. W, A, S, and D, close speech marks and close the bracket. Okay, there's 17 females that want to have W, A, S, and D as a control method. And finally, equals count ifs. We're going to open a bracket. We're going to go gender again, comma, open speech marks, F, comma, movement, comma, open speech marks, arrow keys, close the speech marks. Okay, so there are 33 there. Of course, we could, have did, we could have done this rather than typing in arrow keys there on any of those values. I could have just clicked up in this cell up here. Okay, and it would have done exactly the same thing. Okay, so that's how you use count ifs to, um, to look for uh, or to count uh, on multiple conditions. So we're looking for males 
and certain control methods that could, and, or females and different control methods. You could use that on a number of different things uh, in your um, cleanse data. So it could be looking at uh, the number of um, uh, people who are a number of uh, males or females that wanted a different certain type of game, for example. Okay, so that's how you use the count ifs statement to uh, to to count on new on different values.